In this video I'm going to show you how I made this chef knife. I start with a piece of O1 tool steel. I designed the template on the computer, printed it off, and used some spray adhesive to stick it down to the steel. I took the angle grinder with a 1mm cutting disc to roughly shape out the knife. Make sure to save all the cutoffs so I can use them in other projects. I took the very rough shape over to the bench grinder with the stone wheel just to cut off any of the really sharp edges. Using a cobalt 4mm drill bit, I drilled two holes in the knife. These will be to secure the scales in later. I took the knife over to my grinder and started with a 30 grit paper and started to really shape out the knife. I was making sure to keep the steel nice and cool by dipping it in water. Once I had the profile ground out and I was quite happy with it, I took a sharpie and ran that down the edge of the blade and fully coloured it in. The steel I'm using is 2mm thick, so I set 1mm on my calipers and scratched a scribe line down the middle. I did it from both sides so I'd get a line right down the middle. Back at the grinder, I started to grind in all the bevels. A lot of people use jigs, I kind of find it a bit easier just to do it by hand. Once I got it ground out and there was still a bit left on, I took it over to the forge. If you want to see how to make your own forge just like this one, check out the previous video. I'm just using a butane torch here. The idea is to heat the steel right up, ready for the quench. You want it to be red hot. Once it's hot enough, it should also lose its magnetism. So I tested it with a magnet and then quenched it in oil. I'm using vegetable oil here, but you can use any one. I just like vegetable oil because it doesn't smell too bad when you quench it. Once it cooled down, I wiped off any of the excess oil. You can test your hardened it properly by running a file down it. 
If it skates over the surface, you've got it hard enough. If it bites in, then you need to re-harden it. I took it to my oven and tempered it for two hours at 180 degrees Celsius. Now that it's fully hardened, I can put the final bevels in. Again, making sure the steel was nice and cool so I didn't ruin the heat treat. I worked my way up to a 400 grit belt. Then I started hand sanding. Started with a thousand grit and went up to about three thousand two hundred. Then it was time to add some scales. For the knife handles, I'm using some black walnut wood. I started by cutting the piece I had in half so they were the right width. Then taped it down to the knife itself. This meant that the holes were going to be perfectly lined up. Using a 4mm wood drill bit I drilled all the way through. For the pins, I'm using some 4mm stainless steel rod. I marked out roughly how thick I needed it. And use my Dremel with a cutting bit to cut them off. I did a quick test fit to make sure everything was lining up nicely. Then I sanded some 45 degree bevels on the front outside of the wood. To glue it all together I'm using some 5 minute epoxy. I mixed it really thoroughly together. I 
I started by adding epoxy to the pins and adding them into the holes and then spreading some onto the wood itself. I slid the knife on, I then made sure to add epoxy to all the other surfaces before clamping them together. I wrapped it in some parchment paper so the epoxy didn't squeeze out anywhere and then clamped it all together. I left it for a couple of hours until it was fully cured. The blade's relatively sharp at this point so I taped it up to make sure I didn't cut myself at all and then started to sand it all down. I started by trying to flatten out the pins. I made sure not to get the pins too hot, otherwise that would ruin the epoxy. I spent the rest of the afternoon at the grinder just shaping the handle. I lightly ran over all the corners just to soften them out slightly. Again, I worked my way up through the belt grips. Next I wanted to electro etch my maker's mark onto the knife itself. I used a small vinyl stencil of my maker's mark and stuck that directly onto the blade. I added a bit of extra duct tape around the edges to make sure it didn't bleed out. Here I'm using an old 12 volt car battery charger. I clip one end onto the knife itself. I wrap the other end in a piece of cloth that had been soaked in some salt water. The electric current eats away at some of the metal and etched my mark straight into the metal itself. This took about three or four minutes. I did some final sharpening on the knife itself and added a little bit of boiled linseed oil to the wood to bring out the colour and to add some protection. For a full written guide and a list of items me too was used, check out my Instructables or website. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And you thought I'd leave you without showing it cut some paper.